In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a macro to insert a formula into a specified cell and then drag that formula to the last row of the adjacent column. So to begin, we'll open VBA and we've opened our sample uh, Excel workbook that we're gonna be using for this example. And in VBA, we'll go to insert a new module and we're just gonna call this, this module insert formula and drag. And first thing we want to do is dim last row as long. And we want to specify our last row as range. In this example, um, we're going to be the adjacent column is C. So we're going to be specifying the last row as uh, column C. And rows count and Excel dot row. And now we want to indicate where we're going to insert the formula. And in this example, we're going to insert it into column or sorry, cell D2. So we've got range A2, and it's going to be a formula. And the formula is, and this is where I've got it, um, the formula ready to copy and paste into here. So this is going to be my formula that I'm going to insert into cell D2. And next, I'm going to indicate um, that we're going to autofill. So in this case, we're going to autofill and indicate the autofill destination. And our autofill destination is range D2, the first or the second cell in column E to D and last row, which we indicated above as the last um, row of data in column C. And you just got to fix some missing code and should be good to go. So let's go ahead and first I'm going to save this and now I'm going to test this. So I'm going to click run and we should see the formula inserted here and then dragged to the final row. So let's go ahead and quick run. So as you can see, it inserted our formula. If I click on the cell, I can see the formula here that it, that was inserted. And then it dragged that to the bottom of column C. And if we go down each one, we can see that same formula has been applied to each cell in column D um, that has data in column C. If you check the description below, you'll see this formula um, is down there and you can go ahead and copy that into your own uh, macro workbook and just edit the information or edit the code. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Um, see you in the next video. Take care.